So this is Wawel Castle behind me in Krakow. This afternoon a million and a half people are expected to come to Krakow to attend the funeral of President Lech Kaczynski who was killed in an air crash in a plane in Smolensk, Russia last Saturday. President Obama has cancelled the trip allegedly because of a cloud of volcanic ash. You can see above uh, Krakow the skies are completely clear. Prince Charles, Angela Merkel, of the Chancellor of Germany, Nicolas Sarkozy and Berlusconi of Italy have also cancelled uh, their appearance at this funeral today at very short notice. It's uh, quite remarkable because Berlin is only about 400 kilometers away, so theoretically Chancellor Angela Merkel could have just driven here in a couple of hours. So there are growing questions about the nature of the plane crash which killed not just President Lech Kaczynski but a hundred members of the Polish military and civilian elite. Many people are questioning whether it was really an accident here in Poland. They believe they will never get to the bottom of the investigation completely because the forensic evidence is, has been gathered by the Russian investigators and most of it has gone to Moscow together with the bodies of the people who are alleged to have died in this accident. So gunshots can be heard in a video that was shot immediately after the plane allegedly crashed in this piece of wood in Smolensk. Four gunshots can be heard from a small caliber pistol. It has been speculated that members of uh, a, a group, a military group, went among the survivors and were actually shooting them to make sure there were no witnesses to a crash. This videotape is now being examined by the Polish state prosecutor. Another issue that has um, raised a lot of questions is the fact that uh, the black boxes have been recovered and they show that the Tupolev plane was functioning perfectly. There was no technical problem with the plane which had undergone overhaul in December 2009. It has emerged that this Tupolev plane had a special system to ensure that uh, pilots were warned if they ever approached a dangerous obstacle or came too close to the ground, the terrain awareness warning system. So the Polish pilot must have known that he was uh, approaching trees. So according to the official account, the plane plunged into um, woods about one kilometer short of the runway, 40 to 50 meters um, to the left of the runway. According to the official account, the plane hit a tree, the left uh, wing broke off, the train veered to the left and, and crashed about one kilometre from the runway. Pieces of wreckage have been found there in an area covering 500 metres, but no bodies have been found and no personal belongings of the people who are alleged to have died in this crash can be seen on any of the video footage that was shot immediately after the crash took place. The uh, Russian security services then intervened to stop journalists reaching the crash site. They confiscated photos and video footage. A Russian journalist has reported that the uh, radar equipment that was at Smolensk airport was dismantled after the visit of Prime Minister Donald Tusk and Vladimir uh, Putin on April the 8th, shortly before the plane carrying Lech Kaczynski and the Polish elite touched down in Smolensk. In addition, witnesses have reported seeing military officials changing the lamps lighting up the runway shortly after the accident. This has fueled speculation that um, the lamps were uh, so placed as to mislead the pilot as to the real location of the runway and to lure him into the woods. The media initially blamed President Lech Kaczynski, claiming that he interfered with the pilot and caused him to crash the plane. However, voice recordings recovered from the cockpit show that nobody interfered with the pilot and caused the crash uh, by pressuring the pilot to land. So in addition, the media has uh, claimed that the pilot of the Polish plane couldn't speak uh, adequate Russian, basing their, this on uh, the statements of the Russian air traffic controller. But colleagues of the Polish pilot say he was fluent in Russian. At the very beginning, we were told by the media that the Polish plane had tried to land four times in Smolensk because of dense fog, but in the meantime it has uh, materialized that the plane only attempted to land one time uh, and that it crashed on that attempt.
So when we take all these facts together, a likely scenario is that the pilot uh, approaching Smolensk airport was given false information about the real location of the runway and lured into landing in the woods close by. An explosion could have torn away uh, the left wing of the plane as the pilot was descending uh, to land. Um, when the plane crashed in that part of the woods, uh, a small group of individuals could have gone through killing the crew on board. The absence of all bodies can be explained by, if you posit, that these top generals, the central bank governor, the security chief, the two presidential opposition candidates, and large numbers of the opposition party in parliament were not on the plane at all, that they were killed or kidnapped in Poland and their disappearance is simply being accounted for by uh, claiming that they died as part of this um, plane crash. These are the questions that many Polish people are now discussing on internet forums, uh, on blogs and also here on the street in Poland. My chcemy powołania Międzynarodowej Komisji Lotniczej, Międzynarodowej Lotniczej Komisji, żeby nie wyszło tak, jak wyszło, tak, jak wyszło w Katyniu, prawda? Że to zrobili Niemcy. Przepraszam bardzo, to nie zrobili Niemcy, prawda? Nie chcę, żeby nasze wnuki czekały następne 70 lat. The timing of the plane crash is extraordinary. It happened 70 years to the uh, anniversary of the first Katyn massacre when 22,000 Polish officers and academics and political leaders were killed by the Soviet security forces with the consent of Nazi Germany. Once more, Poland finds itself leaderless. People here in Krakow are in a state of uh, shock um, and many people are wondering who was behind this extraordinary uh, event. Some people have suggested it wasn't an accident. I, I am not able to, to believe in this. Yes. I, I, it, I, I, I can't believe in this. Yes. It, I had a lot of crazy ideas too and everyone else was saying different things. Uh, because there was no official response and there still isn't really any official evidence on what went on. So uh, there were a lot of different things I was hearing. Bear in mind that Poland is the only country in Europe to have refused the swine flu vaccine due to the courageous action of the Polish health minister Eva Kopacz. And Poland was the only country which had a central bank governor that uh, postponed or was unwilling to allow the Zloty currency to strengthen in respect to the euro exchange rate. A weak Zloty benefited the economy by boosting exports, employment and tax revenues uh, to the country. The National Bank Governor had indicated that he wasn't prepared to take loans from the IMF. Poland is the only country that is not in recession in Europe. It actually is growing at 2.7% this year, I think, uh, and 1.7% last year. Its debt is relatively low compared to other countries and uh, after the death of this uh, central bank governor in the crash you can expect to see Poland absorbed into the Eurozone and increasing the size of its public debt uh, very soon. Mm -hmm.